Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm breaking down the style of Queen Elizabeth II. So this will be the second video on this series of style breakdowns. Now in England there's something that we have called royal warrants and these are warrants that members of the royal family give to brands and that enables them to use the logo that you have a royal warrant. A good example of a brand that does have the royal warrant is Burberry. If your brand uh, has a royal warrant, it's kind of a really good thing because it shows that a member of the royal family uses your pieces, your items, your goods, and that normally comes with the fact that the craftsmanship must be so high, the quality must be so good, the customer service must be so good and everything about your company must be so well respected that you would get the royal warrant in the first place so the royal warrant is kind of one of those awards or one of those things where it leads to your brand doing better because people just assume well if the royal family wear it, it must be good so essentially you get business by association if you have a royal warrant so of course this is relevant to talking about queen elizabeth because a lot of the brands she wears have royal warrants, obviously. However, it is possible to lose a royal warrant. There are many different reasons why you could lose it. Um, one of the reasons is if your quality goes down, if the members of the royal family just find a better company that does the same thing, or if you're um, in some sort of controversy, like there was a bra company called Rigby and Pella, and they used to make um, underwear for the queen and then I think the owner wrote a book and she literally said in the book what the queen's size was. So obviously the queen was very, very angry that someone went to go and write a book and put her bra size in it. So she lost her royal warrant because of that. There are many other brands that have lost their royal warrants because of some sort of controversy. Harrods comes to my head when I think of that sort of stuff, but you can definitely check on Google anyway. Now something I've noticed about Queen Elizabeth's style is she wears the same shoes almost every time and she wears the same bag every time. I was like, doesn't she... I know she changes her clothes, but it's like she doesn't change her footwear or her bag at all. And it made me wonder, does she wear the same shoe but a new one every single time she wears it? or? does she literally wear the same shoe every single time? Which I wouldn't expect because she's the queen. She could afford to wear a new pair of shoes every single time. However, I did further research and I found out that the shoes she always wears are made by a company called Anello and David and they specialize in uh, made to measure footwear. And the queen's pair in particular, it kind of has this chain detailing and the material, the leather, has this kind of crocodile effect and I really like it. Um, the shoes also have a very short heel and to go deeper into why the queen, the queen wears this is when the queen uh, chooses shoes to wear, it's comfortability over everything because she's always traveling around the world, visiting different places and she does a lot of walking. So obviously uh, something that would be very important is how comfortable the shoe is. Now, historically, it's very feminine to wear a heel on your shoe, which is why she doesn't really wear flats. But also, because of the comfortability side of it, her heels are never too big. Like, you see the younger members of the royal family, like Kate Middleton, she goes more funky with her style, and you see her heels are a bit um, higher. Even people like Theresa May, who's not in the royal family, but she's upper class, you see her heels are kind of higher as well. But the queen has kind of like a shorter heel, mainly for comfort. What I even find more interesting is that before the queen wears a certain pair of shoes, she hires people that are termed cinders. And what cinders are is they have kind of like a similar foot shape to the queen, the same size, and their job is literally to wear in the leather of any shoe before the queen wears it, so that when she wears it, it will be the most comfortable. And this goes back to what I was wondering before. Where I was wondering, does she wear a new pair? Because it seems like she wears the same shoes all the time. So does she wear a new pair of shoes every single time? And I actually found out that no, she doesn't. She buys a pair of shoes. She gets the cinders to wear it in and soften the leather. Then she wears those shoes for as long as she can and then gets a new one. So she even re-soles her shoes. So when the sole wears out, she has... Um, a uh, shoemaker who actually comes and redoes the soles. So that's quite interesting. I'm 
quite impressed by that because the queen could afford to buy a new one every time and have cinders break it in every single time. But I like that she's not being overly excessive because the royal lifestyle for the most part is excessive. So yeah, I appreciate it, Queen Elizabeth. Now the bag she always wears is by a brand called Lorna. And it's quite interesting because even though Queen Elizabeth's style isn't the most brash style, she likes this specific style. Like she likes three styles of the bag and they all have this kind of like patent leather shiny finish, uh, which I find quite interesting. Looking at her outfit, she likes to match colors a lot. So if she wears a pink dress, she'll probably wear a pink hat. And most of the time she goes for monochrome looks. Um, it's only a few times where I've seen her actually mix and match colors between different parts of the outfit. Obviously the royal family follow every single thing to the letter, everything they do is textbook. So that's why you rarely see the queen wearing black. There's many reasons why she doesn't wear black, but the first reason is because black is associated with funerals. So the royal family always wear black at funerals. And she doesn't wear black so much so that when she does, it actually makes headlines, which I find quite funny. But there's a reason why she actually wears color. Now she doesn't necessarily totally enjoy color. Maybe she does now, but I read somewhere that the reason she actually wears a lot of color is because she's the queen. So as the queen, when you're walking around, people have to notice you. It's like that thing, there's an aura around the queen and they need to keep that. So let's say you were to see the queen walking wherever she is and you saw her in some pink yellow dress. You're gonna remember that. Cause like, oh, I saw the queen, she's wearing this bright um, yellow dress, bright pink dress. So that's actually a reason behind why she wears bright colors mainly. People always talk about the queen um, for wearing her white gloves and always waving like that. But going through her outfits, I've actually realized she rotates between black and white gloves, which I find quite interesting. But the reason why she wears gloves in the first place is very funny. So the reason is to prevent her hands from contacting dirt and to prevent her hands from getting any sort of damage because she shakes so many hands every day and it's like i'm not sure how much your hand is going to get damaged by shaking hands like really <laughs> a trend i've actually seen in recent times is something called a babushka which is when people have like a scarf they tie it around their head and then the knot is about around their chin i've seen asap rocky do it i've seen frank ocean do it and a lot of other celebrities but I'm sure not a lot of people know where this trend comes from. It's normally old women, especially Russian women, who style scarves like this. And the queen in years before this was ever a trend used to do this as well. And not gonna lie, the way the queen did it actually had swag. Like she looked so stylish, I can't even lie. Something really important that I've noticed about the queen is she does not like trousers. She never wears trousers or she rarely wears trousers, which is quite interesting because other members of the royal family, going back to Kate Middleton, the reason why I bring up Kate Middleton is because I like her style. So I follow like what she wears a lot, but she tends to wear a lot more trousers. And I even read somewhere that the Queen doesn't like Kate Middleton's style because the Queen dresses very differently and her taste is very different to Kate Middleton's. Kate Middleton likes high wedges. She wears a lot of high wedges and trousers. The Queen hates wedges and anything that's too high. And she doesn't like trousers. She prefers like long dresses and skirts. So going through the Queen's outfit, she's wearing this kind of like it looks to me like a navy sort of charcoal blazer with this skirt and then some heels. Like I said, her heels, it's always about comfort. So the heel is not a thin heel, it's very wide. That is better for balance, obviously. I really like this outfit. I really like how classy her style is. I know she's a queen, technically supposed to dress like that, but she does have taste and I think there's this misconception that people think everyone in the royal family actually dresses the same, but they don't, trust me. They all have extremely different styles, it's crazy. So I really like her style personally. Here she's wearing black gloves, like I said, she doesn't always wear white gloves. It's a misconception. And I can't really see what bag that is, but just going off what we know about her, there's probably a Lorna bag. All right, next, uh, the queen is in this kind of like sparkly dress. I think this, she was going for a night event or a dinner event. Um, 
here she's wearing white gloves, as you can see. Like I said, I noticed she rotates between black and white gloves. Um, nice silver bag. I think this is swag. This is actually swag. This is swag. I don't know how many people who are over 80 can dress like this and pull it off. Just saying. Right, so this is a very interesting outfit I wanted to talk about because, like I said, the Queen rarely wears trousers. So it was quite good to see the Queen wear trousers. And I think they suit her. She's wearing them with kind of like this blazer and I can't see what that design is, but I really, really like this. I like this outfit. I can't even see what loafers she's wearing as well, but it does look nice from the shape of it, from what I can see. This is a really sick outfit, really sick outfit. I almost think she has the same taste as me because I like wearing dress shirts, trousers, blazers. Obviously I'm not a woman, so I'm not gonna wear dresses and I'm not really into skirts, but I like that it's tailoring at its finest and I just really like her aesthetic. All right, so in this next picture, this is one of my favorite outfits by the Queen actually. Um, she's wearing this kind of like white and green hat, a floral dress, loafers, white gloves, and a white bag. But what I like is how the whole outfit ties in together. I really like the aesthetic of it. And it's just the way everything fits, I've noticed, it just fits so well. Everything just fits so perfectly. And as you can see from the heels in this uh, picture as well, wide heels, never a thin heel because balance and comfort for Queen Elizabeth is always the priority. Next, we can see a queen in sort of like a green overcoat. Once again, this just looks classy. Funny enough, I don't know the brands of these outfits that she's wearing. I just, I wanna talk more about aesthetic because I think if I know something is Burberry or something like that, it might sway my opinion on things. So I really like this coat. I don't know who made it, but it looks amazing. Lorna bag as usual, black gloves, um, the standard queen shoes, and I like this hat she's wearing. Now, what I will say about the queen's style is, like I said, she mainly wears those loafers with the chain detailing, especially now but there's kind of like three shoes he rotates in between. So it's like those um, Anello and David shoes. And then she also wears two others, but you won't really see them too much. So I don't really think I should talk about them too much. All right, next, the queen is looking swagged out in this blue dress and a black bag. I really like this outfit. This is really, really nice. And obviously here she's older and the queen respects herself and doesn't. I think when she was younger, and funny enough, the queen is actually known for having a really good body. It's something people always talk about. Like when she was younger, she had a really good body. And I think she used to wear a lot of tighter fitting clothing that kind of showed her shape more when she was younger. And then you kind of notice with her style, as she started getting older and older, the fits got kind of looser and looser, which is fair enough, fair enough. That's kind of what she decided to wear as she got older. But in total, I really like this outfit. Right, in this next outfit, come on, the queen, the queen has swag. What do you mean? So she's got this, the babushka style. So she's tied, she's tied the scarf to the top of her head and um, she's wearing kind of like an overcoat or it looks like a Mac jacket, actually. No, it's not an overcoat, it's a Mac. Um, that looks to me like a Burberry skirt. Um, obviously, Anello shoes and the bag. And what is really more surprising about this outfit is the queen isn't wearing gloves. The queen isn't wearing gloves for once. Wow. That's very uh, interesting, especially in her later life. She almost never doesn't wear gloves. Like she's she's holding the railing. She's going to damage her hands. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm playing around. But yeah, I really like this outfit. I like how it ties in together. I like her color combinations as well. I really think she has a good idea of color. Another misconception. People think the queen has a stylist. She has people who suggest stuff to her, but ultimately, what she wears is her taste. Going back to my original point, the, royal, the members of the royal family, the people who are involved in the royal family all have different styles. Maybe over time, if this video does well and you guys want to see me talk about other members of the royal family 
and their personal style, I can, especially Kate Middleton, because I that's like the person whose um, style I like the most that's involved in the royal family. Um, obviously, Kate Middleton doesn't have tech technically royal blood, but she's still the royal family. So this next outfit, um, she was on, she went to go see some horses, I think. Uh, once again, she has a babushka. That jacket looks like a barber jacket, but I'm not too sure. I do know uh, John Barber's brand. Um, I think it's called John Barber and Sons. They have a royal warrant. So most likely the queen wears that. So actually I would think that this is a barber jacket. Um, a babushka and that's a skirt. And I think she's wearing a purple jumper with a purple cardigan and some wellies. This isn't really a fashion statement. She went to go see horses, but she still looks swag, even though she's going to see horses. Like, I don't know. Don't know what you guys think, but honestly, I think this is swag. Next, she's wearing this all pink outfit, and I really like this. This is one of the few times where the queen isn't wearing black or white gloves. She's kind of wearing these grayish gloves to kind of match her bag, match, um, the dress she's wearing under her pink coat and also her shoes. And this is one of the few times the queen isn't wearing black or brown shoes. So that's why I really wanted to pick out this outfit because it's quite interesting. It shows that the queen comes out of her comfort zone. And oh yeah, to mention, um, I've noticed that when the queen was younger also, she wore less hats. And as she kind of got older, she started to wear more and more hats. I don't know why, maybe, there's something to do with, I don't know, maybe she's losing hair or something. But all that, what I do know about the royal family in general is historically, the reason why they wear hats is because it's kind of seen as modest to cover your head. So that's why a lot of them do wear hats and they do have certain millinery companies that they always go to. So yeah, that is just me talking about Queen Elizabeth II style. Thought this would be quite an interesting video to make because, you know, no one really talks about the queen style. When people talk about like royal family and style, they always talk about Kate Middleton. And when they talk about style of other upper class people, it's normally like the prime minister. So I thought it'd be good to, you know, shed some light on the queen style, but what do you guys think about her style? Comment down below what you think. If you guys want to join a chat where people talk about fashion, uh, the link to one is in the description below. I have started a Discord chat and a lot of people do have some serious discussions about fashion. So if you want to join it, the link is in the description below. On that, you can also sell clothes you don't want anymore. And if you're a content creator, you can post your videos there. So also it's kind of like free promo. Not too long ago, I actually started a personal channel and I was just posting some of my old basketball and other sporting highlights, but I've changed my mind. A lot of people have been asking me to, to make a review on like the Met Gala and red carpet stuff. And I do follow it. I do follow it. I do know what's going on. I'm not lost, but for this channel, I wanted it to be more about serious fashion and no drama, no, um, no like all these, I don't want to like attract all this bitchiness to this channel because this channel is supposed to be serious. The comment section is supposed to be people having serious discussions about fashion. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. But most of the time my comment section is people really giving their two cents on something. And I don't want it to just turn into like half the people just bringing all sorts of drama. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making those videos, but those are gonna be on my personal channel. So if you wanna see more of the drama stuff in fashion and me just reacting to people's style, like celebs and stuff, then go to my personal channel. But this channel is going to be for style breakdowns of like people like the queen, talking about fashion history, talking about fashion week and other stuff. So yeah, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my personal channel, like this video, comment down below what you think about the queen style, subscribe to my channel, share this video if you liked it to people who you think would be interested in watching this video. And yeah, stay tuned for more.
God save the... You know what, I'm not even going to sing because I'm going to embarrass myself. <laughs>